Uh, we also want to talk about the situation in New York with the subway attack that happened early yesterday morning. Uh, this is Frank James. He is the man accused in that attack. He is the shooter, and now he is in police custody. And how about we introduce you to the person who called Crime Stoppers, which was the request from police last night that led to his apprehension. And yep, it's the same guy, Frank James. Um, as bizarre as that may sound, police did arrest him in New York. He was sitting outside. Police declared him a suspect today. And by this afternoon, he was in custody. He was at a McDonald's when he called in and said, I think the suspect you're looking for is here. In fact, it was him. And then they found him wandering around not too far from that McDonald's. Um, New York police were quick to tout their police work um, in tracking him down. It was about 30 hours after the attack. Well, but had he, not called, right. had he not called, um, that was a pretty uh, lucky phone call for them to get at that point. Yeah, um, you really have to wonder how the police have handled this. In the very beginning, they said this was not terrorism. Then they had to come back and charge him with terrorism. Uh, this was Eric Adams, the mayor, uh, just after the arrest. Take a listen. My fellow New Yorkers, we got him. We got him. We're able to say, we got him. I think in about 25 seconds, he said, we got him four or five times. You almost wondered if he had practiced it in the mirror beforehand. And it, how do police, and he used to be a police officer, how do you stand up there and say, we got him and this was great police work when he called and turned himself in? It's just, well, I mean, how I, do you celebrate I that? I don't in, get in it. In their defense, there was a lot of police work that happened in the, in what led up to what we got him, right? Called? I mean, we got his picture, we got the U-Haul van, yeah. we have the key, we have the bag, we have the evidence. Um, it was, we're just glad he got, we got him because we were concerned last yeah, night that, sure. that there could be another attack. Um, let's talk more about this. Though. Yeah, Clayton and, and Goose. Goosa? Goosa. Goosa. And he's a reporter with the New York Daily News. Um, Clayton, good to have you. Um, why don't we start with, with the investigation right now? They got him. Now what? Yeah, yeah I think uh, the mayor said the headline of the day and he did it. Uh, a number of times i they they caught frank james this afternoon um he was uh walking around in uh, in the east village which is a very populated neighborhood um and uh other people may have called the police on him called crime staffers there was a fifty thousand dollar reward out for his arrest or information that led to his arrest and conviction um, but the police have reported that he called the police on himself. He went into custody very peacefully um, and ended up at the precinct and was walked into the precinct um, without any trouble. Um, what happens now is he, the case goes directly to uh, federal court mm -hmm. in the Eastern District of New York in Brooklyn. Um, he'll be charged on federal charges that include um, uh, terror or an attack on a mass transportation system. He is charged with um, attacking New York City subway system or a mass transportation system. The important thing to remember here is that New York City, New York City subway system clocks 3.3 million turnstile entries a day. Now, before the pandemic, it clocked 5.8 million mm. a day. Wow. Um, that's greater than the population of any other city outside of New York. Hey, Clayton, country. I'm you think about how this plays in New York, and you point out rightly, three million people are in the subway every day. The failures, first, when this guy was making threats on YouTube and other places, we can put that aside for a second. But then that it took 30 hours before he, he called. The subway, cam the security cameras at a number of the stations weren't working. You've got uh, a subway where oftentimes people can jump the turnstiles and go through with, with very little uh, penalty, if any penalty. You had protests last summer, uh, keep the NYPD out of the subways. There was this big progressive move to allow homeless people and others to just sort of do whatever they want in the subway. We've all seen uh, how lawless the subways have been. Uh, have, is this now an inflection point that people are willing to let the police do their job and hold City Hall accountable for not having working security cameras and the like? I, I, I don't know if it's so much an inflection point. I think... Uh... Uh, the people of New York last June and then in November again elected a mayor who ran um, 
uh, very centrally on on crime, specifically in the subways. Um, last January, we had a spree of people pushed into the subways. There have been stabbings. There are um, uh, very high profile crimes on the subways. There's no doubt about that. I, d I don't know if it's so much an inflection point as uh, um, uh, 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 and, uh, uh, something that points out uh, how many people are on the subway and how much space there is. There are 472 subway stations in New York City. Um, if you were to, and, and thousands of trains running at any given moment, if you were in, ten, in eight to 10 trains per car, if you're gonna put a police officer on every single one of those, you would um, have the force to occupy um, a nation, um, tens of thousands. Um, so there's no way to blanket the system with cops. I wouldn't so much call it a, a shift away, but um, a really bad situation. We have to remember here, no one died. No, no one, no one passed yeah, but, away. But, but, but by the grace of God, and certainly no thanks sure. to anybody who uh, intervened or any good work on law enforcement, it was the gun that jammed. Clayton, thank you very much. We appreciate it. I'm not sure, um, perhaps cold comfort uh, to some people in New York to, mm. to sort of hear how things are. Thank you very much. We appreciate it, Clayton. Thank you, Clayton. Um, from one co Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.